Let's just say that the 737 MAX is a doomed plane. It is an aircraft that has been cursed with numerous problems, taking the lives of hundreds of innocent, and plagued Boeing with a reputation that is not so easily reinstated. You could say that it has failed, not only from a technical aspect, but also from the view of thousands, if not millions, of people around the world who place their trust in Boeing to deliver on an aircraft that is both safe and reliable in all forms. The 737 MAX is the culmination of a string of decisions, dating back to more than half a century, and carries a design with shortcomings that run far deeper than just a poorly written piece of software. And as the industry scrambles to find a solution, it may be time we ask ourselves, should Boeing go back to the drawing board and just scrap the 737 MAX altogether? Now while I'm sure many would certainly support this notion, I'll just say outright that the fact is Boeing is just far too invested in the aircraft. They've devoted too much of their attention to this project, and turning back now would result in unbearable losses for them as a company. But what of the flying public? Will people be willing to fly the plane even after the FAA approves it and deems it safe? Because as great as a supposedly safe plane may be, if 50% of the population is still unwilling to fly it, which is what it is right now, it doesn't matter what anybody says about the aircraft. The battle is lost before it has even begun. You see, the more I think about it, the more I really wish Boeing had just started over. I for one am a big fan of the 737 series, and it has long been one of my favorite aircraft. But at the same time, I am not oblivious to the fact that it is an age-old design that has been readapted to fit today's standards. And Boeing is not oblivious to this either. In fact, in the mid-2000s, they launched a project to consider a clean sheet replacement for the 737, but ended up scrapping the idea after Airbus announced its A320neo. So on the one hand, I can understand Boeing's decision to make the MAX. They had little time to drum up a competitor, and so they of course chose the trusty 737. Because why wouldn't they? It is the workhorse of the aviation industry. But what's so ironic about this is that with all the issues that have incurred from the MAX, as well as the lawsuits that will no doubt follow, it may actually yield the aircraft more expensive than it would have been to just start from scratch. And Boeing is now facing the repercussions of that decision. They have lost over $1 billion due to lowered production and grounding of the aircraft. Ethiopian Airlines and Garuda Indonesia have decided to cancel their orders for the MAX, and China has also suspended the aircraft's airworthiness certificate. And let's not forget the reputation that Boeing has lost, which I still think is going to be their greatest hurdle to overcome. Needless to say, they've got a lot on their plate, all because of an aircraft that has been rushed and overused. But with all this being said, I am still confident that they will get the 737 MAX up and running, and make a safe aircraft even safer, as Boeing says. In fact, after all this is done, I'm sure people will eventually come to terms with what has happened, and realize that even though the plane is not perfect, it is good enough. But that is not the point I'm trying to make. Sure, they will regain the billions of dollars in lost revenue. Sure, they will garner back their reputation and integrity as a company. And sure, they will likely fill all the thousands of orders that they have set, and heck, maybe even a few more on top. But what results from all this? A world filled with nearly a trillion dollars worth of could be better planes, when the company could have just taken a small fraction of that time and money and built an aircraft worthy of the Boeing name.